Well, we're hanging on to a couple shots and a little bit of rain here and there. In most cases, you're not going to get any of it, but once we start getting into June, any rain that we get at all is going to be welcome across the area. Skies still a little bit cloudy across the region. We had considerable cloud cover roll off of these storms out to the west of us. That's been kind of invading our airspace here. Here's what our map looks like this evening. High pressure is trying to keep a cap on everything, but we're getting all this energy rolling through with a wind out of northwest at the upper level of the atmosphere. It's kind of dragging this moisture back down out of the panhandles of Oklahoma and Texas through northwest Texas and right into our area. So there have been a few showers around, but uh, not enough to really be able to, to hang your hat on. Although we, don't, we are watching some pretty good rains over east of I-45 right now. A little outflow boundary from old fronts uh, and, and old showers of producing the rain that we're seeing out across West Texas. Some of that could hold together, but I think that through the evening hours, we're probably seeing the atmosphere stabilizing. But by midday tomorrow, the heating of the sun on top of those clouds should start sparking off rain once again. We're looking at fair skies for much of the day tomorrow, but the afternoon will bring us a few showers and maybe a little bit of thunder. But most of it, it looks like in the forecast bottles we're using tonight, most of that activity tomorrow is going to be south of us towards the Brazos Valley and then back down towards the Middle Texas Gulf Coast. Tonight, we're still seeing a couple of little sprinkles showing up out into the uh, the big country and the Concho Valley there, trying to make its way towards Goldthwaite and Brownwood. If you get a tenth of an inch of rain out of that stuff, I'll be real impressed. Up to the northwest of us, still got a little cluster of showers making their way down I-45, but for the most part, Things are settling down. We've got a fair sky, 75 degrees, 69% relative humidity, so it's a little, a little muggy out. We'll call it sultry with winds out of the east around 5 miles an hour. Tonight, we're looking at a partly cloudy sky, 67 the overnight low, and a southeast wind around 5 miles an hour. Your Thursday looks like it's going to start out nice with sunshine, but by afternoon, I'm going to go about 20 to 30% chances of showers with the forecast force, and we'll peak out at a hot and humid 92 tomorrow afternoon. Then jump all the way up to 96 on Friday afternoon. Introduce about a 20% chance of showers Saturday, Saturday night, possibly in the wee hours of the morning on Sunday. But I really feel like most of that's going to be over with before midnight Saturday night. 97 for a high on Sunday. And then mid to upper 90s Monday and Tuesday. And triple digits a good likelihood by Wednesday. Notice windy. Winds are going to be out of the south pretty gusty. So, yeah, that makes the, the heat a little more bearable. But you've also got to deal with the humidity that comes in on those south winds. We'll deal with it. Andy, great forecast. Thank you so much. Thank you.